In this snip, I'll demonstrate how to install Box Starter, a Windows environment configuration tool that works in conjunction with chocolatey packages and has reboot, resiliency, and unattended capabilities. First, I'd like to briefly share with you the prerequisites and the link to Box Starter's website. Please take note. When ready, let's get started. The process is fairly simple and requires little effort. First, you must change the execution policy from restricted to remote side. This is so the install script is able to run and execute. We'll hit yes to all. Next, we'll run the box starter installation script. Please note if you're using PowerShell version 2, you're going to want to execute the bottom script. First, you'll notice that box starter will invoke the installation of Chocolatey. Then, Chocolatey validates .NET Framework 4 or higher is installed. Chocolatey is then invoked to locate the box starter module package and run the installation. These modules will come from the chocolatey.org repo and not the PowerShell gallery. You'll notice that those box starter modules are already in process of installation. Let's wait for this process to complete. Once all of the modules are installed, you'll be advised that the installation is complete. We can now go into our session, type in get-module, and we can validate here that the box starter modules have been installed. There's one more thing that we need to look at. If we go to the desktop, you'll notice that there is a box starter shell. If you launch this, this is just a custom PowerShell console, which loads a welcome screen and all of the box starter modules into the session. Let's validate that we can see those modules. And we can. And that's it. Now you're ready to explore box starter and see what it can do. This was how to install box starter. Thank you for watching.